This is my new uh, Marine Corps uh, combat simulation, six days in Fallujah. This is the first time I'm recording. I have had the simulation since June 22nd, 2023, when it first came out. As you can see, it's an early access uh, game release. And there's a title, Six Days in Fallujah. Uh, as recounted by actual Marines that were there in combat in Fallujah. And uh, they have a lot of input to this uh, combat simulation. Uh, this campaign isn't open yet. I, I'm sure it's going to come out when the full game comes out. Operator Missions uh, is also locked and not available yet. Uh, the only thing that's open is fire team missions. Uh, you can do some training. Look at the intro videos again, which I'll do right now because uh, I haven't captured this on a recording at all yet. So let's play the game intro so you can see it. No, I didn't agree with the war, but the fact of the matter is, like, you know, I was a young man of a certain age and my country was at war, and I would have a choice to make. Was I going to participate or was I not going to participate? And I would remember that choice for the rest of my life. The invasion of Iraq brought Saddam Hussein's brutal regime to a swift end. What followed was a storm of chaos out of which an insurgency was born. There were Iraqis, of course, in the insurgency, but there was a lot of foreigners coming from all over the Arab world even from other non-Arab countries, even from the United States, from France, uh, Europe. Among those vying for power, one Jordanian man stood out. His name was Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. Al-Zarqawi is a product of the Jordanian prison system who had a dream of establishing a new caliphate, and he was bound and determined to do it. After America disbanded the Iraqi army, Zarqawi built one of his own drawing thousands of fighters from inside and outside Iraq. The violence that Zarqawi preached was so appealing that people would come from all over the world to do the most horrendous and brutal things to people. It was a daily scene when you go out and see bodies dumped in trash. They tied the kids into rocks and they throw them in the river. They cut their heads. It was horrible. You're either with them or you're against them. If you're not with them, or if you don't financially support them, you're dead by all means. Zarqawi called his group Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Today, we know them as ISIS. In the spring of 2004, Iraqi nationalists and Zarqawi's growing army seized control of Fallujah, just miles from the capital. These terrorists were armed to the teeth. No one could fight against them. Fallujah kind of like was pushing a lot of danger into the country, pumping, pumping, like constantly pumping. That was their safe zone. They, if they, they'd go out and do stuff all over the country. If they could make it back to Fallujah, they were safe. It had to be stopped or the country will turn over to Al-Qaeda. By October of 2004, Iraq's prime minister ordered civilians out of Fallujah so Iraqi and coalition forces could retake the city. We are determined to clean Fallujah from terrorists. 90% of the population left the city, while thousands of insurgents turned it into a fortress. Early on November 9th, American and Iraqi troops entered Fallujah side by side. The next six days would be among the bloodiest in half a century. All right, so that was the game intro movie. And now let's play the fire team intro movie for six days in Fallujah. It was real for us very quickly. We had a, you know, KIA Marine within five minutes. 
that city was 100% controlled by insurgency. We would find a head in the street, and there was no body. And, and we would find a body, and there was no head. I knew this was an Al-Qaeda thing. This was a foreign fighter thing. I knew this was a, whoever the hell wanted to fight us, and the whole world was coming to Fallujah. Early in the morning of November 9th, six battalions of American and Iraqi forces began pushing south to clear all insurgents from Fallujah. The only way you can clear a city is you have to search every house, you have to search every room, and you have to root out every insurgent. They'd remain static in a building, knowing that they're probably not gonna live. They, they may not even have a way back out, but they're so heavily fortified that you have to go in there and get them. Every time we would go into one of those buildings, you, you never know what to expect. It's different every single time. The only constant is, you know, the fear, the adrenaline, the unknown. We sustained hundreds, hundreds of casualties. I mean, one guy in a building could take out a fire team. The first objective for Regimental Combat Team 1 was to retake the Jolan District. Jolan District was a district where that was kind of Al-Qaeda's headquarters. And we knew that it was going to get hairy down there. There was still that sense of fear as we pulled into the city. I mean, it, it just grips you. It was pitch black that night. Pitch black, because they did the attack on no moon, no illumination at all. You could hear them from the mosque shouting to each other, let them come in, let them come in, you know, never run, never show them that you're afraid. It's tough fighting an enemy that's not afraid to die. All right, so those are the two movies uh, before the game starts and you get into the menu, which is this menu. All right, so now uh, you go ahead and, well, let me show you training. Get through some of the training so I capture that on video. Have a uh, history memory a log of that. History video log, okay. So here's the training. What's cool about this is there's no live targets, just paper targets, silhouette body targets. So body, silhouette body target. So this is what it looks like when you're in game. Felicia, it looks worse when you're actually playing with the fire team. Uh, as you can see, the weapon right there. I don't know that 16A2. You can bring it up with the left mouse button. Uh, I could use the mouse wheel and roll it up, and it gives you a view through the uh, target sights. And then you let go of the button, your left mouse button, and it drops down. Now if I hit R, it'll check the round, see how many are in there, what's the count. As well as you can see, it shows you the vest right there. It shows you who you are. You're the leader. Uh, if I want to reload all the way, I just hit, uh, I hold the R key. If I want to change the shooting ratio, I hit Y, Yankee key. So let's see what it does here. So one single round. One round at a time. Hit Y again does a semi-auto. Get the reload! Gotta Damn reload. it! I'm empty! The trigger pulling and the uh, trigger pin, you know, it's empty. Go ahead and reload. Reloading! As you can see, a mag I'm disappeared from my vest. You do have frags, uh, but uh, it's a key three. Uh, the number uh, num number pad, but I don't have those right now because it's just a uh, weapon round target uh, training. Four, it's usually smoke. Don't have that either. And uh, two is your secondary weapon. It's a pistol. I don't know why it uh, does it up like that to the side at first. I mean, it does it so if you're turning, going around the corner, you know. Uh, this is what this sounds like. Damn it! I'm empty! It shows you... Uh, back takes, online! Takes one away from your vest. Okay. So there it is. You can see it's very quiet out here on the training, really. Not a lot of enemy running around. Mortars coming in on you. Uh, 
a lot of activity, beehive of activity. So you go to, you can place uh, C4, as you can see there, it says place C4. Uh, you could go to a different door and see if you can just open it or breach it like that. It'll just open. Uh, paper targets, I don't see any yet, but you could uh, bring your weapon up. If you just shoot the left mouse button like that without bringing your weapon up, it just shoots the ground. Unless you bring your weapon like one up higher. Um, okay, let's go show you what the C4 uh, breach is going to look like. Go ahead and place the C4, hit, your, hit and hold the F key. There you go. Pulls the igniter. Get back! Fire the hole! Get back! Away from there. there you go. So there's the uh, breach, and I'm going to see if there's a. Uh, yeah, over there on this other wall, uh, you can uh, vault over the wall. You gotta watch out for all these holes and well, climb walls. See, so you can climb the wall, hit the F key, you can jump up, climb the wall. Uh, as of now, I, I don't think we have a third person view key. Uh, but you could come through these walls, but you gotta squat down sometimes if it's too low. This one you could just go through because it's really large. Um, let's see if you could just walk through. Yeah, this one you could just walk through. It shows right. Oh, here's a vault. So you could vault over this. Hit hold the F key thing. So that's the vault. Okay. All right. So let's go. There. So there's vaulting, climbing the walls. You could go right through it. There's opening the doors. Um, there's a C4 breaching. Here's opening the door. This is uh, how you open. It just says right there F open. Hold it to breach, so you hit F if it opens it up. So then what you do is you hold the shift down, the left shift, and you hit F to breach. Boom. So there it is. To turn your weapon light on, hit the X key. X-ray key. And you go in and you check and you bring your weapon up and you search. Slice the pie. Cut the pie. Slice the pie. Alright. No, weapons cast. So there's something else. So, oh, did I fall through something? What the hell was that? Okay, so as you can see, there's a weapons cache. You can disarm them. It's good. Got the weapon. Okay, so you got to look out for that kind of stuff as well. When you're in real combat with the uh, Cavalter windows, uh, you see the flashlight is on. Right? You can only go so high though with the weapon. Your head goes higher as it, as you look up. Your weapon doesn't follow you up. So what I usually do, you know, is first of all, I'll go around the compound. You get stuck on this kind of stuff. Look at this. If you go here, you can't get over this this barrel. Look at that. Even if I hit F to try to vault over. Hey, friendly. Okay, so I put I hit the space bar. Space bars communicate by radio. See, I hold the space bar down. That means I'm commu communicating with my radio com uh, and as you can see on the bottom left your map your navigation directional north south east and west that little uh, x mark there is where the vehicle is at and you let go of the space bar and you hear the uh, mic clear so This one. Okay, gotta kick it open. Uh, some of them, some have the breacher, the the uh, the battering ram. Okay, so it must be. Is there an upstairs? Because I see that X moving. So, there's your targets. <coughs> oh goodness. I'm not really trying to really get the enemy down, actually. Um, okay, reload. Make sure you have full mags. So there is a there is a rooftop. Check all your doors. Hit your F key. Open. There you go. There's the front door where we just came in. You hit the uh, hold the F the left shift key, and you you'll uh, run. Okay, 
push in. There's target. Yeah, I know. I don't want to shoot it yet because it'll end the mission. Maybe I just want to get through everything so you can see. Go upstairs. Hit the F key. Or shift, left shift. There's target there. Go outside. So I guess that X is, okay, is where the target's at. So you hit the left alt key, and it brings a map. Yeah, so this shoot all targets and around. So this is the objective. Where Take right. Is, and I could move, move it. it. See? You're up. Move it. You're up. Move it. Go left. Go. You're up. Move it. You're up. Move it. You're up. See? So I can move the target if you're the leader. If you're the leader, you can... I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, hold up my weapon. Reloading! I'm back online! Alright, let's go get that target in the kitchen. Let's see if get any targets that I may have missed. And it's a bit chaotic running around I got that target already because it's very fast paced you know when you're trying to, when you're trying to uh, get through but once you you're playing it enough you know where you need to go you know what you have to look for uh, you know and you move fast that's why the whole screen is just fast pace just the whole fast pace So, communication, that's the space bar, and you can talk. It shows you your vest, your position, your magazines you still have left that are highlighted in white. The gray ones are the ones that are used already, you don't have. shows you your compass, north, south, east, and west. Um, and then there's that line right there, that stripe. Uh, it means something. I guess that means you're the leader, the fire team leader. Um, then you hit the Y key. It changes from single shot to semi -auto. Uh, R, you tap it and it just shows you how many rounds are in your magazine. You press and I'm hold reloading. the R and it'll reload the whole thing back to 31. I'm back online. Uh, you hit the left mouse key and hold it. It brings up your weapon to fire at the enemy. You scroll your mouse wheel up. It gives you a view through the uh, eyelet to your front sight. Uh, I don't have frags, but it's key three. Smoke is four. Uh, and uh, your light is X, X-ray key. Turns it on and off. Uh, left control is your squatting. There's no prone position yet in this game. Uh, they need to add prone position. So just up and down, that's all you got. There's no third person view. What else we got? W is forward, S is back, A is left, D is right. Uh, let's see what else they got. I'm going to try all the keys. T. Oh, no. Oh, okay, T. The T. The tango key. Switches through your... Cycles through your weapons. Okay, T key. Weapon cycle. Y, we already know, changes your rate of fire. U, nothing. I, nothing. O, nothing. P. Okay, F, nothing. G. H. J, K, L, Z, nothing. X is the light. C, it'll tell you the direction of where you want your fire team to go, or it'll tell you spotted an enemy. Eyeballs, security, that way. Right there, see. Eyeballs, balcony. Keep a lookout. We need security there. Keep an eye out there. Face that way. See, that's the C, Charlie key. That's what that. Secure the balcony. We need security there. Keep an eye out there. Okay, as fire team leader, you can direct your squad or your fire team. V, what does V do? V, nothing. B, boy, nothing. N, nothing. M, nothing. Uh, what is tab? Tab, nothing. Caps lock, nothing. Shift, 
control, Z control. We know Alt, Zep Alt brings up your map. Spacebar of comm, communications. Right Alt, nothing. Left, right control. Oh, need to do something? Oh, okay. Right control. Okay, right control uh, zooms up to your front sight for right control. Arrow keys, nothing. Uh, how about the keypad? Enter. Okay, enter gives you this screen on the keypad. Plus, minus on the keypad, nothing. Star asterisk on keypad. Check your weapon. Okay, hitting the star. Uh, no, I guess not. Not really. I was just going through all the keys. Okay, F1, F2, F3, F4. F5, F6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, 11 did something. I saw it like shift the screen. Maybe it shifts you from windowed screen to full screen or something. Of course, escape does that too. All right, we went through all the keys, so let's get up and take care of the last silhouettes. There they are. We're good in here. Complex is secure. All right, so. There's a run through training. As you can see, it shows you the time that you spent uh, going through that uh, training mission, 13 minutes and something seconds. Gives you a training uh, different each time you go in. It'll switch the, the training slightly. Okay, it, you know, like shoot all targets in around the house. So it'll, the targets will be placed in different spots. That's basically about it. Okay, we'll go back. This is how we would do it, for real. I check all around the compound first. Making sure there's no enemy. Okay. This is how I would play it. Okay, recording. Gotta watch your doors, your stairs, your windows. your openings enemy could be there if you're playing you know for real check your windows cut slice of pie for the window windows there you go okay, you see an enemy in there all right let's get inside this breach turn the light on go on inside weapons get this on see there's only one weapon there this time last time there was two so we took down that target. There's a weapon over here. Look at that. Weapons cache. Got a weapons cache. Bring up the weapon. Watch your corner. Okay. Go downstairs. Reload. I'm reloading. Make sure you have full mag. When I'm back on the line. Ready? See, I shot because remember the last time we came through here, there was an enemy right there. So I was prepared. And I shot. Because, oh, up there. oh, what the hell? Back out and then reload. Reload. Full mag. I'm back on Make sure you have full mags. Okay. Now we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, right there. Okay. Three more weapons caches up here. See, I got stuck on that right there. See, sometimes you want to smooth as fast, fast as smooth. Uh, but at the same time, you want to. Sometimes you want to get in there quick and surprise them. So when you're moving in like this, boom, they'll be surprised for the most part and you could take them down. Uh, but when you're moving in too, too slow and taking too much time, like if you're going like this, and you're just creeping in like this, they get a chance to react to see you coming in and then boom, they start shooting and taking you out. So when you move fast like that, see, come out and clear it real quick, check your corners, check your sides, turn around real quick, you know, 
clear it, make sure it is fully clear. Move quick, you know? Smooth, quick. This is the same room, it's just the outside door. Let's have fun breaching it. Yeah, it's the same door, it's the same place we were at. Alright, last uh, insurgents up here on top. Get your weapon ready. I think we have a full mag. Full mag. It's way bad. It's not like it used to be, so you gotta bear with me on my I'm reloading. full mag. I'm back online. Okay, obviously I miss uh, some targets downstairs. Here I thought I had cleared everything. But just going to show you. I probably missed a target somewhere. Either downstairs or outside, or a weapons cache I didn't get. I didn't clear. Four minutes, 29 seconds. All right, so there's, those are the training missions. Uh, participate just means if you want to participate in this stuff, join the conversation. Uh, it's a forum. Game feedback, you can suggest a feature or report a bug. Matter of fact, I should have been using this a lot because every time I'm playing with the fire team or real people in, uh, in a fire team, there's so many things that uh, we come up with that we wish the, they had added like being able to pick up weapons uh, that maybe your teammate had dropped, maybe our 249 saw shooter operator, you know, got killed and, you know, you would like to have that saw back in your team. You know, if there's two of you left or something, or just you, you'd like to pick up that saw so you have outstanding firepower and your rounds ain't going to run out real quick. So you want to be able to pick that up, pick up any enemy weapons if you had to, if you ran out of ammo frags whatever you find you know you could use those things like in real life you're not going to just say okay I, here's a weapon catch it disappears now i found it just to hit an f key uh no you should you need to like either collect them or plant uh, a c4 on it and destroy them or something but you know what if i'm thinking about it and all of us are thinking about it and we talked about it i'm sure they placed it in the feedback already so that's what um participate is of course your settings you have gameplay, aim preference, start sighted, field of view vertical. I have my crosshair small, HUD visibility, persistent. I don't know what this stuff really does. I mean, I don't know. HUD visibility, off, HUD, default, reload, hold. Yeah, shit, yeah. I'm switching that to just tap. Forget that hold stuff. Forget that. I could still tap it, and I'm sure it'll show you how many are in there. Auto lean. A lot of guys that I've heard hate that. They don't like that auto lean because you get stuck sometimes on it, and you can't get out of it, and the enemy are attacking you. Um, so a lot of them turn that off, but I haven't had any issues with it so far. Um, I don't mind it. I like the way it cuts around the corner. It leans around the corner. Um, what else we got? Small reticle head bob is on. Available to host, yes. Tutorials are on. And though that's it for gameplay so far. Save those settings. Uh, keyboard and mouse, uh, everything's good to go there. Graphics. Uh, I got everything uh, on. High max resolution. That's all it goes. Oh, it goes to ultra. Let me see if it stood with ultra because last time I did that, I already changed it to ultra. Okay, this time it stood. I don't know why it it, um, it went back to high because I had switched it to ultra a long time ago. Brightness. Uh, okay, let's see. How is it supposed to look? Adjust lighter until the icon on the left is barely visible. So it should be, should be like that actually. But but then again, it is so dark in the game when you're the 249 operator, the saw machine gun. It's so dark you can't see anything. So I actually want it lighter. I want to be able to have things lighter because 
you know, I'd like to be able to see better, so I'm going to keep it right in the middle. And audio is good to go. Master volume music, I have it really low. I, I don't want to hear all kinds of music going in game. Uh, microphone, I have it allowed. Player combat dialogues on. <coughs> and then the language English, of course. And let's get back. All right, so that's that. I just ran through a lot of the uh, the options in six days in Fallujah. I'm going to stop this recording and then. Um, start another one where I'm just going to get in game and start playing and show you what it's like from there. All right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial or uh, what the keys functions are and a bit about the uh, menu and uh, some of the uh, things you encounter on training and so forth. All right. This is uh, Keith uh, Silva Sr. Peace out, everybody. Take care of yourselves and everybody else.